Hi, this is Claire again with the cards of the week and today we are using the Lenormand Blue Owl it is called. It is from a German publisher Königsfurt Orania and as you can see these are the cards for the week. I've already drawn them in the German version of the video and um, here you can see them. It's classical Lenormand but the cards are a little bit bigger so to say. So this is my hand in comparison. They are a little bit bigger than the deck you might be used to. Uh, this classical version is a little bit smaller, so you can go into more details and have a closer look. And I also wanted to talk about one thing short before we start with the cards of the week, because I had some uh, comments and resonance uh, from my German speaking audience like, oh, I love the many cards that you show, but I cannot afford them or uh, it's a little bit much somehow. And I wanted to say yes. Uh, you don't need to buy all the cards so to say and we also have to be very conscious about this shopping mentality that is going into esoteric and spiritual things right now so I'm coming from a time uh, before the internet so to say I know how difficult it was in those days for artists to get a publishing house to be seen with their cards with their ideas so we are very lucky with the internet um, that every artist and every graphic designer, whoever is making cards, can show their work and they can connect and the world can see it and who is interested can um, take a step further and work with the cards and buy them. Yeah. So this is lovely. But on the other hand, it's uh, to me personally, it's important uh, that we don't get lost in shopping, so to say. That the cards themselves are still the focus and the meanings and thinking about life with the cards and reading the cards and all of this stuff. Yeah. So I don't want to moralize or anything because if I wouldn't like it, I wouldn't show all these cards, of course. Yeah. But I also want to say um, here on YouTube, it's okay. But on Instagram, you sometimes see people who are just showing beautiful decks and I own this cards and these cards and beautiful pictures everywhere. And of course, I'm not against beautiful pictures, but we have to keep the balance, you know? For example, I'm always thinking about the grannies of the olden days. They had their deck of playing cards in the kitchen table and they were reading the cards and everything was fine. It was good to read the cards like that. Yeah. So I don't want to go back to these old days, but I want to keep it balanced. And I want to speak about this just short before uh, starting with the cards of the week um, to mention this because it's not just about shiny, glossy photos. It's about an old art of divination uh, and most important is reading the cards, really. It's not having fancy card decks. Yeah, uh, I love beautiful decks, but in practice, I have to say, I'm using Smith's Weight when reading tarot. I'm using uh, the old cards, of course, of Lenormand, but I most like ASS Altenburger, which I show in my uh, readings with the Lenormand cards, the example readings I often use this. And I use typical scarred cards or playing cards and that's it. That's what I do for practical reading for clients. Yeah, I don't use anything fancy for it. And if I was on a lonely island, I could go just with one deck and would be happy. Yeah, so this is important. I just wanted to mention before we start because um, Yes, it has two sides. Yeah, it's lovely that we have so much to see and explore and every artist can show himself or herself uh, to the world. This is lovely. But on the other hand, it's also important not to get lost in shopping, so to say, but to keep an eye on the art of divination itself. Yeah, so that's enough, I know, <laughs> but I just wanted to mention. Yeah, so let's have a look at the cards. And these cards are sweet and sour, we see at the first uh, sight of them. At the first look of them the tower is neutral the lady is neutral and the snake is not so neutral so to say when we see the snake it is a very ambivalent card of course uh, there are different views on the snake the lenamore is quite old-fashioned in its way to see the snake card uh, but we also for example here in germany we have a big part of uh, regions that are slavic in origin and um, in these regions the snake is a positive symbol. Yeah, it's a symbol of life. There are many uh, stories and legends about uh, snakes, white snakes mostly, with a little crown on the head. The, the crown snakes, they are called. And um, they bring luck. They are like a good spirit of, of the house, 
or of the um, of the farmer's uh, whole everything he is um, having and owning the, the cattle and the fields and the, all of that the houses of course uh, the snake was like the good guardian spirit so the snake in general i want to um, add this to uh, have a little more depth to the snake itself it's not just an evil snake the classical lenormand uh, is of course the snake is difficult the snake is like uh, an, an evil woman or a woman with bad intents in your surroundings or just a difficult woman someone who is stressing you oh she again <laughs> like that yeah uh, it can be somebody who is emotional blackmailing you it can be somebody who is uh, false in its behavior or in its talking uh, so uh, you don't see the real face of this person uh, it can be someone talking bad behind your back can you say it in English like that? I hope in Germany we would say someone is talking bad behind your back. So when someone is talking about uh, always showing a friendly face towards you, but in re reality it's um, yeah, a false snake, as we say in Germany also. A false snake is somebody who is um, a snake in the grass, I think you say in English. So you can compare this. Um, when we read this, in real life so today we are not so much about these black and white uh, meanings of the past we keep them in mind because sometimes they are true but it's also about going in circles somehow so if you think of a mountain and these are the serpentines that are winding down in your real life this can mean you are going here and there and here and there and here and there and it's like can I come to the goal? Can I finish, please? <laughs> Where is the action? Yeah, It's like you are running and running like the little hamster in his wheel. And when will I be there? Yeah, It's like oh, going in circuits and going nowhere, so to say. So it can be really a frustrating card in this meaning. It is more difficult than you thought. But also I want to mention the snake, of course, is an animal of wisdom. So. In real life readings, I often encounter a very interesting thing about this card, especially with a woman card here. The woman card, I want to mention it too, is for all the ladies watching this video, it's yourself, for all the male people, it's your female part, your inner part, your inner yin, so to say, when we want to say it like yin and yang, it's your inner yin part. And um, when we see this together, it becomes even more interesting because she's not having the snake in her back. She's having it in front of her. So this means she's watching it. It is something conscious. Yeah, it's not the evil snake in your back. And you know, you really can read the cards sometimes like a, like a game or something like that. You can play around a little bit with them to see the meaning. She is like in control. So when we put this together, she sees it. She's conscious of it. And this evil snake can sometimes be a woman in our life and we are annoyed by her. She is like, what is she doing? What is she thinking she is? And all of this evil stuff you are saying in your own head. And this evil stuff can be a really good hint towards your aims, your goals, what is not lived in your own life. Because you're envious, you're jealous. She is doing all this stuff, this evil snake, you know? Uh, it's really an interesting part of this card. It means becoming more wise through your own envy and this looks at the first sight when you see this it might uh, sound a little strange but your envy your uh, jealousy all of this can really be a tool to find out what you need because you are not jealous for nothing you want this too so have a look at it have a look at your needs yeah i know at first it sounds strange but as a as a practical uh, tarot reader and a Lenormand reader also, I often see this pattern coming up when these cards are together, especially when she doesn't have the snake in her back. So it's really an evil person. She's not conscious of it, but it's something she can be conscious of. So of course, have a look at every uh, snake in the grass next week that you might encounter. Be a little bit careful. Don't gossip, all of this of course but also have a look at your needs that might be hidden in the little jealousies and all of that you are having in everyday life it can be really a helping card uh, to find out these things so another interesting card is a tower here and the tower is especially important of course it's because of its haste so it's about going up 
uh, walking your path upwards somehow. It's also about loneliness. It is about being alone because who is ever is in this tower is alone, but not just in an in an um, in a bad way. It can also mean solitude in a meditat meditative way. <laughs> so you are meditating. You are taking time for yourself. You are taking me time, so to say. You are caring for yourself. Everything falls on its place because you have calm. Yeah. Uh, so this is a nice card at first it doesn't look so nice but it can be really nice and it's also a part about achieving so this is where do I want to go one step further where do I want to grow where do I want to go upstairs so to say so it's an interesting card on many layers it's not just about your job or your working life it's also about your life itself so like for example hobbies interests uh, things you you want to um, yeah you want to take a step further so this card could mean well i'm thinking so for so long about improving my writing skills or my uh, my painting skills or drawing skills or pottery or whatever i will have a look for a course or an online course i want to take it one step further yeah this is a very interesting card um, in improving yourself and learning and all of this and it's also a card of solitude of course in the meaning of I step it, uh, I take a step back to see what I want to do, to have this uh, meditative uh, mood, so to say. So my ideas and my real, what I really want, not what comes from the outside, but what I really want, can pop up in this calm environment of my soul. So when we put this together, it's like I always call these homework cards. Sometimes the cards tell us, oh, this will show up, this will happen, be careful of that. Uh, so it's a little bit like this with the snake, but these cards are about action, they are about doing. So first it's about consciousness, it's about seeing the snake, uh, dealing with it, having a close look at your own feelings. Where am I envious and what can I learn from this? It can be also that in this week or the week to come, it's like, oh, I have to go here and there and here and there, as I have said it in the beginning of the video. And it feels like I'm running in circles. So sometimes it is what it is and we have to deal with it. So yes, okay, <laughs> next week will come, yeah. Energy will change. Um, sometimes it's just like that. So we cannot do much about it, but it's always a snake is also a card of wisdom uh, on a deeper level. It is um, always a wisdom aspect. It is something to learn. So um, have an eye on that and have an eye on yourself. Yeah, this is also about uh, self-consciousness. It is about learning about yourself, feeling into yourself and uh, getting in touch with yourself. In this fast-paced world, this is the first step often, really getting in touch with yourself. For example, with a little bit of solitude, but also have a look at the beautiful things, the interesting things in your life. This can, of course, be your job if it is beautiful and interesting, yeah? But uh, this can also be much more. It is about where do I want to take the next step? Where do I want to grow? Where do I want to become tall like this tower, so to say? Um, it's uh, about improving and um, doing things that you like because you are the center person. So if here was like, for example, the anchor, the work card, then we would have a connection to work. But the connection here is towards you. This means um, you want to grow. Yeah, It's wherever you want to grow. It can be spirituality. Uh, the topic that is closest to your heart is meant. Yeah, uh, It can be family. It can be private life whatever this is really important and here also when you do these steps you can reach much in the week to come yeah so these are the cards for this week and we will see each other next week again